Hey, uh, it's Lisa here from Lady Norway Energy Healing. Just popping in real quick. I was going to do a little uh, Archangel Michael card pull and uh, Kyle Gray Angel Oracle. See what the angels have to say uh, coming up to this full moon in Aquarius, which happens tomorrow, August 1st, 2023. We are in uh, Leo season and uh, it's, it looks like there's another um, full moon coming at the end of the month, so it's a blue moon. You know that saying, once in a blue moon. I'm looking forward to it. It's a more relaxed time than it has been, astrologically, for the last little while. You know, Leah's all about being larger than life and having fun and putting yourself out there. And, you know, that's kind of how I feel. Like, I'm kind of looking forward to that because life's too short to uh, not have fun. So that's what I am excited about. Um, Venus is in retrograde still, and so is Mars. I mean, there's seven planets all together by the end of the month that are gonna be in retrograde. Uh, that's kind of interesting, cause you know, that's uh, when there's a retrograde, like uh, kind of slow down and have a look at things and, you know, take a pause, take some deep breaths, look at stuff, look at stuff again, you know before you launch it or jumping in or whatever. It's a good time to stop and have a little look-see and see if uh, this is what you really wanna do or say or whatever. And then Mercury goes retro on the 23rd. So things with Mercury now, he's, Mercury's in his shadow. So, you know, stuff could be starting to, you know, kind of get screw up a little bit. So just realize that that's the case. We have the Lionsgate portal, which is on the 8th of August. That's coming up too. That's a powerful time. That's lined up with the uh, Sirius star constellation. So that's a potent time for energies of uh, light and, you know, higher frequency, higher vibration, all that stuff. That's kind of good. So that's on the 8th. Of I think Chiron, Chiron is kind of doing his thing and it could feel like there's a little bit of a slowdown he could be kind of making things feel a little slower and there could be some frustration around things not moving fast enough for you and there's a new moon in leo the august the 16th that's a good time of set intentions as um you know since we've had that aquarius full moon at the beginning of the month that's all about releasing you know, some of, some stuff around maybe Leo, Leo stuff, like maybe it would be, you know, kind of hooks you in, full moon hooks you into the, with an Aquarius would hook you into the collective needs of others. Um, so this uh, new moon in Leo can have you sort of set the seeds of intention to what you want to accomplish and having Leo give you the courage to do it and the strength to do it. And that's on the 16th. Um, and then Mars is going into Libra on the 27th and he's not really happy there. So he's uh, moving into Libra and, you know, things can kind of bubble up there, possibly even some passive aggressive behavior in yourself and in others. So watch out for that. And um, yeah, so then at the end of the month, the 30th, August 30th, we've got the full moon in Pisces. Sun is in Virgo and that's all about, you know, the body and your health and your routines, your routines. And um, of course the full moon is all about the spiritual stuff and the collective. So, you know, the body and then the spirit. So that's kind of a blending of both. That could be an interesting time as well. And um, yeah, but I'm looking forward to this, uh, this Leo time and um, having some fun because it's summer and where I'm at. It's time to get out there and shake it up a bit and be like Leo and just be larger than life and have a laugh and good times, good fun, that kind of stuff. So yeah, so I think that's about it for the old ast astrology. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pull a couple cards here and uh, see what we have to see what the angels have to say for us. A little bit of guidance for coming up with the 
full moon in Aquarius, of course the blue moon in, at the end of the month in Pisces, but all good for, you know, letting go, releasing those last little bits of things, and then setting intentions for, you know, the, the new stuff that you want to bring in, and the new stuff that you want to start, so exciting. Anyway, there we go. The card I'm going to pull here is from Kyle Gray deck. Angel Oracle. We're just going to say, hey, angels, what do we need to hear for our highest good for the full moon in Aquarius coming up on the 1st of August? What do we need to hear? Kind of did a little jumpy. Ask and receive. Okay, I have Archangel Michael deck. Archangel Michael, what do we need to hear for our highest good? A light to others. Okie dokie. Ask and receive. Ask and receive, and you shall receive. Your angel guide wants you to know that help is available. You are being encouraged to shift your perceptions and recognize that even in the most difficult of circumstances, a miracle is possible. Whatever miracle you need, it is available to you now. Your angel guide is encouraging you to recognize that you may have been blocking support by saying no to the things you wanted to say yes to and asking you to change that now. When you begin to say yes to the experience that light you up, you usher increased levels of support into your life. You yes. may feel that your prayers aren't being heard, but this is just isn't true. Angels have heard you and are suggesting you take time to assess where you are in your work or relationships and where you've been creating barriers to success. When you are open to seeing and doing things differently, you will experience the answers and miracles you need. You're being encouraged to pray from a space of gratitude now. When you focus on what you're grateful for, you align your energy with the miraculous. Heaven is encouraging you to welcome support in all areas of your life. Well, that's a good herb. And number four, be a light to others. Be a light to others. The world needs people who are kind, giving, and spiritually tuned in. People like you. You have the grace and wisdom necessary to help others heal from all manner of emotional and spiritual wounds. Know that you do not need to be engaged in a direct, hands-on, or traditional method of support to be of assistance to them. You present an example of compassionate, non-judgmental living that people can learn from just by being around you. While your presence itself is a gift to the world, many of us in the angelic realm see you, see you as a spiritual teacher. We think it's time that you shared your light with a much larger number of people. You already know all that you need to know. Perhaps it's time you stepped out of your comfort zone and became a mentor or coach to those who are struggling in the world. What you learned that allowed you to make it through all those all those difficulties and challenges can now be shared with others, acting as a beacon to guide them through their own dark times. Okay, Archangel Michael, I heard you loud and clear. So there you go. That's what the angels have to say, and that's what Archangel Michael has to say. So I hope that finds you well or helps in any way. If you needed to hear that, if it resonated with you, it sure resonated with me. 
<laughs> so we'll leave it at that. Happy full moon blessings. And once in a blue moon, it'll be cool if you'll be able to say that. Well, once in a blue moon, you never know. Miracles are happening all the time. So I hope all your dreams and wishes come true. And I'm sending lots of love and light. And take good care. And we'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now. Bye.